Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a really special review and it's for the SJ Gimbal. Now many of you probably know that this is SJ Cam's first gimbal. In this review, we are just going to show you the build of it, talk about the modes, the specs, and all that good stuff. Before we get started though, I'll remind you to like our video, also subscribe. Now this gimbal should be releasing by the end of October early November so you can stay tuned to our channel as we will be making more announcements and doing an official unboxing okay so here let's just show you some of the buttons so here we have the mode button we have a LED indicator light power button and shutter button so this allows you to take photos or record video with the SJ6 and SJ7. Now for other SJ Cam models like the SJ4000 series and SJ5000 series this button will not be uh, functional. So you can mount other SJ Cam series onto this gimbal but you can only use control mode for the SJ6 and SJ7 series models. On the side here we have a micro USB port for charging. The battery specs and the chart and the, and the life will uh, get back to you on that later. On the bottom here we have a 1 4 inch mount and we have a lanyard hole here. Now here we have the pan motor. Over here we have the tilt motor. And back here we have the roll motor. So this is a three axis gimbal stabilizer. So that pretty much covers the build of the unit. Here we have two screws to mount the action camera. And you can see here this is a mini USB to three pin cable. So at the moment, this will only support SJ6 and SJ7 models. One quick note about the cameras that you can mount. For SJ Cam models, you can mount all the models, all the series, except for the M20 and the M10 series models, cameras. You can also mount other models. So if you're gonna mount a non SJ Cam camera onto this SJ gimbal. The uh, dimensions that you can mount are for length it's 58 to 62 millimeters. Width it ranges from 21 to 25 millimeters and height it ranges from 41 to 45 millimeters. Now the tilt and pan range goes up to 320 degrees. The roll range goes up to 80 degrees and just some quick specs about the tilt speed it's it has a minimum of 3 degrees per second and a maximum of 70 70 degrees per second pan speed it has a minimum of 5 degrees per second and max it has it goes up to 120 degrees per second and the SJ gimbal it weighs 350 grams and the dimensions are 260 millimeters by 82 millimeters by 107 millimeters. Now we'll uh, put all this information inside of our video description and maybe link, even link it to a blog. Okay guys, let's get to the fun part. So we'll show you some of the button operations. So to power the unit on, you press the power button down and upon powering you can see the gimbal turns on and gets itself ready. Now you press the power button twice to turn the device on. Okay, Now we can see that the SJ7 is on and it's charging. So I'm using the joystick here and You can see here that it is charged, it's fully charged. Okay, now let's talk about 
some of the modes. So there are four modes and the first mode it's pan following mode. So upon powering the the unit on using the SJ gimbal, it will go into pan following mode by default. So we'll just show you some of the the pan following. Now in pen following, you can use the joystick to rotate the camera up and down. Now we actually uploaded like about a five minute video just showing the SJ gimbal in action. And we'll also be uploading some footage. Now the second mode, okay, so when in the first mode it's, it has a green indicator light to switch to the second mode, which is locking mode, you press the mode button again and the light turns red. And we can see here that the camera is locked in position. And again, we, we uploaded a, another video that really better illustrates it. The third mode is pan tilt following mode. So you press the button again and the light turns blue and let's see pan tilt following and this one this one's kind of hard to see like um <laughs> because the camera's too close but again you can uh check out the other footage on our channel and the fourth mode, you have to press the mode button twice and it will turn into a rainbow type of a blue-red mix. And this is the selfie mode. So again, you can take a picture of yourself. Okay, so these are the four, the four modes that the SJ gimbal supports. And again, when you power the unit on, it goes into pan following mode by default. And the light is green. Okay guys, I think it just, just about wraps up this review. We will do an official unboxing. Actually, I do have one of the accessories that I know that comes with. It's a carrying case, which is kind of cool. It's a nice high quality padded case. And so you can just pop your SJ gimbal in there and then be on your way. It has a nice adjustable strap. Another accessory that will come with is, is a uh, micro USB charge cable, a user manual, and possibly a, la a lanyard. Okay guys, this just about wraps up this review. Make sure to like our video, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Hello guys, and welcome back to our channel. In this review, we're just gonna show you the four modes and the gimbal in action. Okay, so to power the unit on, you hold the power button down, and you can see the gimbal is ready. Now you want to power the device on, so you press the power button twice. And this goes into pan following mode by default. Now we are actually going to record today I'll yeah, uh Luin Shipping. Okay. 我们现在开始录吧。对。录这里面的。对。Okay. Yeah. Okay, now this footage we will upload to our channel as well. Okay, go for it. 可以出出拍。Okay, so again, this is pan following mode. Now, pan following mode, it also supports the joystick control up and down, and left and right. Okay. Now, the second mode is locking mode, and when you go to locking mode, the LED turns red. And then we'll go further, maybe you don't have a value in there. Okay, now let's see locking mode. Now while in locking mode, you can see that it does support the joystick up and down. You can adjust the camera angle.
Okay, now we go to the third mode, which is pan tilt following mode. And while in this mode, the LED light will turn blue. Uh, this basically follows when you're panning and tilting. Now in this mode, it does not support the joystick control. Pretty fun guys, yeah? So we actually take this outside and, and shoot some nice footage in the day in the daytime as well. Okay, now for the fourth mode, you need to press the mode button twice and then the LED becomes blue and red. This is the selfie mode. <laughs> Pretty fun. And for this mode, it does support the joystick up and down. Okay, and then now you can see it's back to mode one, which is the pan following mode. Okay, guys, we'll uh, upload this footage and upload this video as well. Make sure to like our video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.